Hi, I'm Mr. Johnson. I'm gonna take you through today's assignment, which is creating a blind contour drawing of three objects. It's very simple. Here's what you need. Some plain paper, uh, some pens or markers. I like using different colors, but use whatever you have on hand. And you need three different objects. So I have uh, this David statue, uh, a Batman toy, and a maraca pen. And these are gonna be the objects that I'll use for my drawing. Try to find things that are different and that have uh, interesting shapes or details because they'll make your drawings a lot of fun. So let's get started. Now a blind contour drawing is all about learning hand-eye coordination. So it's not about creating a great finished product. It's about learning to follow the path of your eye around an object. So let's look on this camera as I show you uh, what I mean. So here we're looking at this David uh, statue. So when I'm doing a blind contour drawing, what I'm doing is drawing the object without looking at the paper, only looking at my subject. It sounds daunting, but that's okay. So when you're doing it, you wanna use your eye to follow the edges of your subject and just look all around it with your eye. Pretend my pen, right, is, is my eye. And I'm following right around the edges here. And then I'm gonna go inside and try to add some of this detail. Now I'm gonna add those things uh, only looking at the subject and not looking down at my paper. So as you're doing it, right, you want to uh, put your pen in a spot on the paper where you're gonna start the drawing and you don't wanna pick your pen up. This is one continuous line and you're only looking at your subject, you're not looking down at your paper. So as you start, pick a starting point and just, I'm gonna to decide to start at the bottom of the neck here on my David and I'm going to, with my eyes, trace around the outline of my object as I draw it. Now again, I know that it's going to be a little funky, but I'm starting to just look right at the object and I'm not looking down at the paper. So those are the lines that have gone around the, the David and now I'm going to uh, start to draw the box that he's sitting on. Now because I'm not lifting up my pen, uh, when I get to areas where the line should move, I'm trying to just kind of draw those in. Uh, so you want to think about if this is one continuous line, uh, where do you double back over lines? Where do you go and, uh, and add little connecting lines? And it's okay if your things end up not lining up or being totally right, in the wrong uh, spot, that's, that's okay. Uh, it's just an exercise in hand and eye coordination to help you uh, with your drawings. So now, oh, you know what I didn't do is there's all this kind of textury detail in the hair. I'm gonna to try to add some of that uh, and we'll see how it goes. Hey, that is not bad at all. Wow, that face lined up a lot closer than I thought it would. It kind of looks like Prince. So what I'm gonna do now is switch markers, use a different color, and I'm gonna try and draw the same, a blind contour drawing now of a new object on the same piece of paper. Okay, so uh, the designs here that I drew inside of the Moraga didn't quite line up, and that's all right, but this is my, uh, my Moraga blind contour drawing, and I have one more. All right, so now I'm gonna draw the, uh, the Batman figure, um, and I'm gonna put him right over here, and hopefully he'll go right on top of these drawings. Uh, if your pen goes off the edge of the, uh, the paper, right, obviously then you can, then you can pick it up. Okay, this is my Batman. Oh, well, can't even see it that well. Oh, there it is. 
All right, so that now is my blind contour drawing of three objects. So there's my blind contour drawing of three objects. They overlap each other. The colors make it a lot of fun. And it is not a project that's meant to be an amazing drawing. Accuracy is not what's important. What's important is learning to trust what you see with your eyes as you're looking around the edges of your object and trying to follow that motion with your hand and the pen. I encourage you to move your whole arm while you do it instead of just your wrist because then your entire drawing ends up in this tight little, little ball. Now, if you have some other color media at home and you want to spruce this up, you can use crayons, markers, colored pencils, watercolor, and add some color inside these sections that you've drawn. Um, I'm going to do that on mine and you can uh, see what it looks like. All right, and there it is, my blind contour drawing. I've added some color to it. Wherever I hit a line, I just change the color. Thought would make it kind of fun. So hopefully you'll enjoy this project. Again, it should be not fun and relaxing. Take your time, go nice and slowly with those lines and see what you can create. They're funny, they're silly, so there's no pressure. Just enjoy it, uh, submit a photo so we can see what you've made and we hope you have a great weekend.